Okay, one last feature to talk about with scenarios. I'd like to discuss and tell you how to use the scenario summary report. Because if we make all of these scenarios, that's one thing, and we can show each set of values one at a time, that's fine, but that's not really a good way to compare them. Right? I want to say, okay, well, I have a comparison of all my little what-if analysis that I've done. So we're going to talk about a scenario summary report, and I will show you how to do that. All right, the last feature I'd like to discuss with you with scenarios is using a scenario summary report. It's a great, great tool. Um, because let's just think about something for a minute. If I create all these wonderful scenarios, and then I'm trying to show the boss all these good scenarios that I've created and how they're going to help the company and all sorts of stuff, I'm not going to have someone come in and sit next to me at my desk and I'm going to say, okay, look at this one and show, and well, look what happened, right, and this one and show, and so on and so forth. It simply That simply doesn't work. Um, reason that doesn't work is we don't have a fair comparison. Am I supposed to remember what it was as a previous number? It's not that viable. So what we have is we have this tool called the Scenario Summary Report. Um, and all we have to do is activate the Scenario Manager again by using that What If Analysis button. And then we have a Summary button. So if I click the Summary button, it pops up and I can create a Scenario Pivot Table, which incidentally if we don't know too much about pivot tables, you can go and take a look um, at our first lessons in Excel Level 3. Um, or you can create a scenario summary report, and that's what we're interested in. And then it says result cells, and these are just cells that's going to include as part of the comparisons in the end. So oh, I want to compare my annual profit to my annual expenses to my gross profit in the end. So if I click OK, up pops this spreadsheet, and in this particular spreadsheet, it's created this wonderful looking summary. Was all this information? It's actually comparing all my scenarios. It's highlighting the gray cells, which are the changing cells. It's showing me my operating profit versus my gross profit versus my overhead costs at the bottom here. And so it's a really, really great way to compare your scenarios really quickly, uh, really easily with not a lot of hassle. We simply use that summary button and it generates this report. Where this report is found is it's simply just another sheet on your Excel workbook now. It's called the Scenario Summary. So if I want to go back to my original scenarios, I can simply go to my Scenarios sheet and here's all that same information that we were looking at before. So Scenario Summary is a really good way to compare those scenarios quickly, easily, and efficiently. So that's how you create the Scenario Summary Report. It's really easy to do. Um, it's on the same screen that we're using for managing. Um, and then it generates a nice sheet for us where we can quickly compare all of our what if or all of our scenarios. We can also see what cells were changed, what value they got changed to. So it's a great little report that it creates and it's not too much work from our side to generate it.